Yo, 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 what's happening? It's Friday, and y'all already know how we get down. Hey, man, we got one of the hottest dancers in Mississippi chilling with Squirrel right now today, man. Hey, man, hey, we sorry for, we, 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 we most definitely sorry for starting late, but you know what I'm saying? Hey, she gonna tell y'all why we late. Go on, before we get into it, she gonna tell y'all why we late. Well, I gotta now, tell them why we were late. Tell them why we late. The police got me out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was I was speeding, trying to make it here on time, and Capitol Police they they pulled down on me. I was, hey, see that Capitol Police don't bullshit. So when y'all coming through Jackson, y'all coming through Mississippi, when y'all got come through Jackson. Y'all slow down when y'all coming down by the Capitol because they gonna pull y'all over. But uh, check this out, y'all. Before we start, um, before we get into the interview, like I said. In my story, we got two TVs in front of us now. We got she got one, I got one. We can read comments now. You know what I'm saying? It's a TV behind me, and you can see your TV too. So we can read comments when y'all comments. We are gonna read it, and we gonna hey, we gonna answer questions. We gonna do all it. You know what I'm saying? So man, y'all tune in. Man, y'all tune in. Stay here for the whole interview because she she lit. She lit, man. She lit. Just breathe, man. Win the city. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into it, man. Pop your shit, baby. Introduce yourself. Yo, what's up? This your girl, Wendy City, a.k.a. Breeze, a.k.a. Brianna. A lot of y'all don't know me as Brianna, but that's my government. But just Breeze, that's my rap name. Wendy City, that's my dance name. See that? She got all type of shit Easy going. Breezy if you want the cleaner name. Oh, see that? <laughs> all type of shit, right? She got all type of shit going right now. But, hey, check this out, though. Man... We're going to answer all these questions. Everybody want to know where you've been. You, you know what I'm saying? Everybody want to know about Bud and how close y'all were. Everybody want to know a lot of stuff tonight. You know what I'm saying? And we finna get into it. Right. We finna get straight to it. So, but check this out. Straight so, no chaser. Hey, no chase. Hey, but y'all ain't, y'all ain't see when she first came in. She came with a big old uh, 1942 Done Julio body, man. Check this out, y'all. I got a shot right here. Mm-hmm. I had to, I had to cut over my boy, my producer, cut over a water bottle for me so I could get a shot. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Man, a shot hey, glad. we still, hey, like I tell y'all, it's still raw and uncut. You know what I'm saying? I got it done, done Julio, 1942. Hey, man, hey, my shot might not be big as hood, but hey, we gonna get it in. But uh, check it, we gonna take the shot doing. You know what I'm saying? Anything crazy, we just gonna take the shot. All right, anything yeah. crazy. Yeah. You All know, right, you know, I'm blind now. I, can't, I wear glasses, so I can't see these comments. You might have to. I'm gonna read them comments. Yeah, you might have to tell me what's being said. All right, I got you. I got you. But check this out. So let's get into it, man. Breeze, you like Mercedes from the paint? I'm like so you, sick of you like one. Of the, I'm for real, man. You like Mercedes <laughs> from the paint, man? You like one of the hottest, hottest in Mississippi? How she was? Like people came to the club to see you. People put you, put your name on the fly. Everybody come out and see you like you like Mercedes in the, from the paint. So man, with with that being said, like how did you become a dancer? Like what was on your mind to make you become a dancer? Because some dancers go dance because they got college tuition, all this. They got stuff to pay and take care of the family. Like what made you want to be a dancer? I'm gonna be real with you. When I first became a dancer, I started dancing because I was in a situation where I basically was homeless. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had nowhere to go. I had just caught I had just took a charge from my baby daddy. He wasn't fucking with me. Like, I was just out here. All my family in Chicago. I don't have no family down here. So it's like I was really trying to get somewhere and I met somebody. I, this is a crazy story. So a lot of the dancers, they ain't gonna be real with you. A lot yeah. of them dancers that started what I started. Yeah. We all started back in like this little trap, right? Yeah. Everybody thought the man was pimping us, but he really wasn't. He really a, was like just a, like a trap house or Yes. So y'all start dancing out of trap house. It was called wait a minute. It was called the hold on. It was the fish something. I can't remember. It was the fish something. <laughs> yeah. See that? <laughs> but a lot of dancers that dance now, they ain't gonna be real with you. They a lot of them came from there. It, oh, it, yeah. it was it was called the fish fry. Yeah. That's exactly what it was called. It was off Robinson Street. And, on, on Broad Street in Jackson. In Jackson? Yes. It was oh, about shit. 15 of us, and we all was lined up. Niggas would come in. He would book a party with about 30, 40 niggas. Yeah. Niggas would come in the garage. Oh, shit. He would get them together. No real money being spent in there. It's, it's like play money. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It was like Monopoly money. Yeah. Printed up money. Like, you're not coming in there to think you finna rob nobody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. And we would be in a line, like the damn Bunny Ranch. 
And me and a couple of my other partners that I still kind of fuck with right now, we was at the end because the, the baddest bitches was at the end. Yeah. End of the line. So they would come through the line and they would pick who they wanted to come through the room first. And it would just be a whole party. Rotating girls through through and through. We get our little Monopoly money. At the end of the night, traded out for real money. Oh, but it was shit. like a family, though. Like, we was all together. Like, it was like a family, for real, Damn, for that real. dope as fuck. It, it really was. Didn't no bullshit go on. Didn't nothing happen to us over there. Nothing. So and what, I ate some bitches right now still dancing that can vouch for it. They know what's going on. Damn, that's what's up. See, we ain't, see we, you were already kicking off some yeah, shit. So, like, the, so the, like, that the, was before. That was probably, maybe, maybe, I don't know, because that's when I kind of first moved to Jackson. Yeah. Probably when I was here for, like, my first couple years. Yeah. So it was like. After I got out of college, I got pregnant, and yeah. that's when that got established. But I think, I think, don't, 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 don't press me for this. But yeah, yeah. I think Tiffany's might have been open, but when nobody really trying to go dancing on Tiffany, so yeah, yeah, we was getting money like that, and then probably some months on down the line, maybe a year down the line, that's when the first Black Diamonds opened. Oh, that's what's up. We migrated. All right, see, I see. We ain't even know that shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, man, shout out to hey, everybody. Y'all just learned something new. You know what I'm saying? The fish fry, it was a trap. <laughs> and like I said, just like the paint, just like the goddamn paint, a trap. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Hey, but check this out. So you dancing and stuff. Was you was you afraid? Like, what made you to get comfortable to dance though? Like naked and all that. Like, what made you so comfortable? Shit. It was all about the dog. Trying to get out the trenches. Trying to get out the trenches. Getting out the trenches was the motivation for sure. Trying to make sure my son was taken care of for sure. That was the only thing I was thinking of. I was never scared. I wasn't one of them girls that got to drink no four, five, six, seven, eight drinks just to be like, mm-hmm. I ain't none of that. Nah, I wasn't none of that. I was real live ready. I always been a dancer though. Like in Chicago, yeah. I was in a lot of dance groups. I was on a pop on yeah. team. Like I used to turn up like on the dance side, but I ain't never dipped and dabbed in no stripping. Like I moved down here yeah. when I was 18. So I went to college here. I went to Tougaloo first. Then I went to Hines. Then I got pregnant with my son. I dropped out. Yeah. Never finished. So yeah. that's just like I never was scared. So it wasn't no, you know what I'm saying? I just got in there head first. It was the money. Yeah. I had to get that bread. I had to get myself out the situation I was in because wasn't nobody finna get it, get me out of there. Yeah. That's what's up. So what you said, you ain't had to get drunk or none of all that. I want to ask you this. Like, you ain't had to do no, like, the statistics. Of this shit, they say the girls got them at snow lines, do all this shit to get First comfortable. All, to I, get I, hold on, hold on, to get comfortable, go out there and dance and stuff. So is that true? Like that was TV shows. The TV I've shows never, a lot I've of never, that. So I've is never, it? I've, I'm not gonna cap like I ain't did no drugs, but I've never done coke in my life. Yeah. My brother OD'd off coke. Yeah, and I was real big on not fucking with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. anybody that was around me, they know what's going on. They know that if they fucked with that shit, I wasn't fucking with them. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up, man. So you were just comfortable out there dancing. It was all about the yeah. money. Yeah, facts. All really. So let's get to the part how you learn how to do all these tricks on this goddamn pole. Like <laughs> you sliding and you, you're twirling and nonstop and all this. Like, did you take pole dance lesson or something? Or you just something natural? I took one pole class. I took one pole class. She taught me how to get up the pole, and that was it. Yeah. I asked if it, it well, really what it was, let me tell you what fuels me with anything. It's somebody telling me I can't do something. Yeah. I asked a couple of vet dancers. They, If they watching this, they know who they are. Yeah. I asked a couple of vet dancers to show me some shit, and they was like, laughed at me like, you too big. You ain't you ain't finna do that. You yeah. can't do that. So, shit. I started, let me see. I started dancing at, it was a club called Atrium. You know what Sweetie Pie is at? Yeah. It was a club called Atrium. Big Mighty had that club. And I started dancing up. That's really why I learned all my pole tricks because it was so slow that I was able to just take that time and yeah. really work on my craft yeah. and just try shit. And I was just trying shit, and I was it was looking good. And I just kept going, kept going. Like people, people would be surprised. Like the routine that I had back then yeah. is the same routine that I would do right now to do numbers right now. Yeah, facts. Oh. If you if you if you if you dancing and you do the same shit and and just keep perfecting it, keep adding to it, your strength is going to build up on its own. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, your body's going to get used to doing these moves, and you're going to be a pro at that shit. That's why a lot of people, they look at it be like, damn, that shit look, that shit, she make it look easy. It wasn't easy at first, you know what I'm saying? But once I kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing the same shit over and over. Yeah. Easy. 
See though, y'all, hey, y'all better listen. Y'all better listen. She, she drop, she dropping them gems. She dropping them gems. <laughs> so, but check this out. So, you, you, you done learn. You done got your craft together. You been at all these spots and all this. Now, now, the the script club scene in Jackson getting big. You know what I'm saying? It, it it's getting big, and, and y'all, all the everybody getting the TD clubs now. You know what I'm saying? The the script club is popping. They they jumping harder than the regular clubs. You know what I'm saying? So, how did you get in it? How did I get to Let, yeah, get into the big clubs and all you just you just left that spot and just went on to like yeah. Black Diamond whatever and all that. Whatever was coming, whatever was popping up next. Yeah. I was there. You were there. Facts. Yeah. Sometimes they was looking for me. See, that's what that's what I'm Shit. trying to say. I when know, yeah. The club that burned down. The, yeah. uh like I wouldn't I wouldn't even get along with the man who had black diamonds. Yeah. I wouldn't get along with him. Cause he didn't like me because of Bud. A lot yeah. of people didn't like me because of Bud. Yeah. On the club, on the side, yeah. should I say. I don't know about regular folks, but the club on the side, a lot of people didn't like me because of Bud because they knew what, what my loyalty lied. And one thing I loved about Bud was that no matter what, he always knew that the money came first. If his club was a little slow, he knew that I was going to move around. But he didn't hold that against me. You oh, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He, 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 like, I used to feel like that. I had to grow to the point where I felt like, I had to talk to him, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I was taking it personal. Like, I didn't want to let him down on some shit. So yeah. he would have to let me know, like, I'm not mad at you. Go make your money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I would go over there and make my money. But it was it been a couple of clubs that I didn't have to pay nothing to work there. Yeah. Because they wanted me there. Facts. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, man, the Jax, like I said, the Jackson scene coming up, you know what I'm saying, script clubs jumping, Black Diamond is like one of the hottest script clubs in Mississippi right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, did you ever have like tell me this? Which one was your your greatest your greatest time being there and winning was your baddest time being at Black Diamond? Being at Black Diamond, yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm not even gonna just uh limit it to one club. Yeah. My greatest time in my dance career. Yeah, your dance career, yeah. Facts. First was V Live. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm lying. Blue Magic. Yeah. Because we only had like two or three faithful dancers. We had that bitch jumping. And then it migrated into V Live, and it just went through the roof. Yeah. And that's when motherfuckers started trying to reach for me and be like, oh, come dance here. Yeah. Da, da, da. But, yeah, then and back in 2016, 17, when I started dancing at Play- – no, wait, I'm lying. 17 is when I first went to jail. I was still at V Live, okay? Yeah. But when I came home, Playhouse was yeah the height of my career because bitch was – Got them deposited yeah. eight nine thousand every yeah. Monday. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. After the weekend, after, after the, the week, weekend, the yeah. week, you know what I'm saying? From Ooh, the week, wee. yeah. So check this out. So what's the highest the highest you ever deposited on a Monday? About about nine thousand. Nine thousand. Ooh, yeah, about nine thousand for 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 three days, Friday or two days, Friday, no, Saturday. No, oh, because oh. I was I was a through the week. Oh, weekend, you oh like every G. weekend. Yeah, yeah. like I, because a lot of times, like a lot of a lot of club owners, they de- like when I started coming there and I'm frequenting there, you know, through the week. Yeah, through the weekend, whatever they gonna want me there through the week. Yeah, and then I got people that's gonna come see me through the week too. So yeah. at the end of the day, I wasn't finna miss no money. I ain't missing no money. That's on anything, even with my cleaning business now. I'm gonna work Monday through Sunday if I have to. I, really? I work Monday through Saturday at FedEx. And, get you and I clean houses after that. I don't clean houses on the weekend because I try to give myself a break. But yeah. I'm trying to get the bread all, every day I can get it. And oh, I really? always kept that mindset because I always been a hustler. Like my daddy, my daddy had me working when I was 14. I had a I had a work permit. Yeah. I was 14 working at Chicago Public Schools every summer. Yeah. I ain't see the money. But, but yeah. But you I got working. that work ethic. Yeah, you got that work ethic. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. I really, I really. So but check this out, man. So you say you had you had people come and see you throughout the week. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know some it was some husbands off in that motherfucker. Hey. <laughs> Hey, you ain't got a name on, but it was some husbands off of that motherfucker trying to do. I'm pretty sure it was husbands, boyfriends, baby daddies, whatever. All type of shit, huh? For sure. Did you do you do you feel some type of way? Cause we in Jackson, you know what I'm saying. You probably see them again walking with that girl or something. You know what I'm saying? How did you? You know what I'm saying? Did you feel some type of way? This nigga just spent all this money on me. No, because a lot of times they used to come spending with that girl. Oh. A lot of times the girl fuck with me more than the nigga. Yeah. But see, when you that type of dancer. Well, they don't have to worry about you fucking with that nigga or backdooring them. Oh, you don't, you don't, you don't worry about that type of shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna act like I'm no saint, but at the same time, 
I'm very respectful when it comes to my craft and what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm not I'm not finna be trying to shoo shoo and hoo hoo with your nigga behind your back. Yeah. Cause the money gonna get cut off. You right. If home ain't happy, he ain't finna come in his club and be happy. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Hey, you right. You motherfucker right. I ain't spending no money though. I'm sorry. <laughs> but check this out though. <laughs> but check this out. So let's get into Bud, man. Like Bud was like your big brother. Like y'all was always he would like, I don't I don't want to get nothing wrong. I don't want to say nothing wrong. He would like your number one dancer. You would like his number one dancer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I was like up what up was the relationship? Time I went to jail. Like Bud starting off with Bud, like Bud used to date my god sister. That's how I met him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I used to talk to one of his partners. I ain't know him from Can of Paint. We used to be at Kilo's. Yeah. It, I don't know if you know about yeah, that. Yeah, I know about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we used to be at Kilo's. We used to we used to meet up at his house and be seven, eight cars deep going to the club. That's how me and Bud met. Me and Bud stuck with each other when he decided he wanted to open the club. At first, when he first opened it, I didn't jump into Blue Magic. I didn't go straight to Blue Magic. Yeah. Um, Because I was dancing at Black Diamonds. But a situation happened with me and the club owner. And I just was like, I- I'm done with this shit. I'm going over there with Bud. And we was just sticky steve since then. Like, even when we was, like, when I was dancing at the club, we lived together. A lot of people don't know that. Me and Bud lived together for, like, almost two years. Yeah. In Brook Hollow. Like, we was living together. Yeah. Like, that was my little big brother because Bud younger than me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but one thing he always knew, I was going to hold him down. Like, yeah, that's why I was one his number one dancer. He the only club owner that I know ever showed me real loyalty as far as, like, he watched me build up the club. And I ain't going to just say just me because it was a couple other girls that helped build it up. But because I was a main name, you know yeah. what I'm saying, a lot of people thought, you know, this is in the third. But I helped build that club up. You know what I'm saying? He was the only person that showed me the real loyalty of a dancer being down for your club and you actually – Showing them love from what they did for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of people, they will watch you build their club up, and then when shit hit the fan or some bullshit happened, they ain't going to have your back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He the only nigga that ever had my back. He the only motherfucker that stood with me on shit. Like, and that's why I rolled with him the way I did. Whether it was $2 in that bitch or $2,000 in that bitch, I was dancing like it was a million dollars in there. Oh, really? So losing bull, how did it affect you? It affected me. It hit me hard. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Like, I ain't believe them when they told me that shit. Because it shit actually happened down the street from my house. I had to actually go drive down the street and go look for myself because I didn't believe it. You know what I'm saying? Bud had been shot on two separate occasions before that happened yeah. to him. And he survived. So I watched him be shot five times and get back up and be okay. Yeah. So this time, I didn't believe them when they told me that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it affected me. It affected me. It, it fucked me up. I ain't gonna lie. It still fucked me up to this day because that was my right hand. You know what I'm saying? That was like my best friend. Yeah. That was like, you know. Yeah. But it, it kind of helped. It helped me in a way because it made me go harder, and and not just for my son. I have him that I have to make proud. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like stuff that I do, I always think about him. I always think about what he would want me to do, how he would want me to move. So. It, it it was, it's it's a good and a bad. Th- it's never a good thing, but I'm saying like as far as his death had affected me. Yeah, it is good in a way because it made me go harder. But it's bad because I miss him. You know what I'm saying? I miss him being here. That was like I ain't hang with no lot of hoes. Like that was my hate. Like I be with him. Yeah. I do shit with him. Whatever we do, everything together. So it it kind of it really fucked me up. It still fucked me up to this day. Like I be trying to. Stay positive about yeah. it, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes it do get me down, and I try not to think about it. I just pray about it, you know? And I talk to him. I talk to him like he's still here because I know, you know, I know he can hear me. Yeah. I'm trying not to even get emotional. Man, hey, real. hey, take a shot. <laughs> take a shot. Take a shot. I told y'all we're going to take a shot when the shit get crazy, when it get, you know what I'm saying? We're going to take a shot, man. I'm going to take my little shot. I'm a little cook. My little, my little cut open uh, water bottle thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to take my shot. <laughs> Shit, boy. <laughs> Woo. God damn. That done Julio hit like a motherfucker. But check this out. But check this out. You know what I'm saying? At the bug pass and stuff like that, it's like you disappeared. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, I ain't, I, from what I seen, I ain't see you dancing no more, none of that. Like, what happened? At the Bud Pass, I just got in my shell because it's like, I just can't understand why, like, man. Yeah, I, <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. I just can't understand why they had the, whatever happened, I still don't know what happened, so. It's like it fuck with me to the point where I can understand why they would take somebody like him. You know what I'm saying? Bud show love, not just to dancers. He show love to the streets. He show love to everybody. Yeah. So it was more of a, I just had to get by myself because I ain't know who to trust. You know what I'm saying? Because if y'all could take a nigga like this, what y'all would do to me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bud yeah. show Jackson too much love. For him to not even be here today. Yeah. And that she still fuck with me mentally every, every day. Oh, shit. God damn, boy. I be trying to keep... I'm trying to keep it cool on my side. God damn. You know what I'm saying? I knew his death affected a lot of people in Jackson, but you know what I'm saying? I wanted to know from the close people, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> how it affect them. And I see how they affect you. You know what I'm saying? yeah. We're going we gonna to get out there, man. Appreciate you for letting that out. You know what I'm saying? Some people yeah, went kind of over here and let that out. Shot, so she got to take a shot, man. Ooh. But shit, you know what I'm saying? But check this out. <laughs> hey, put a camera on me. Hey, look. Yeah, she take. Hey, look up. Hey, it be like this sometimes. You got to take them shots, man. You got to take them shots. That shit was some unfortunate shit. Like, that man supposed to still be here raising his daughters. Yeah. Being him for the people he fuck with. His mama. Yeah. His people. Yeah. K, Nunu, you know yeah. what I'm saying? People that real life watched him come from nothing. Like, we watched, all of us watched each other come from nothing. Yeah. So, it's no reason why he shouldn't be able to be here right now and celebrate with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The day, the day, I, the building I had, I don't know if you remember, I had yeah, a building. Yeah, yeah. And it had five rooms in it. Me and Bud supposed to. Bud was my silent partner. You know what I'm saying? I still got the text messages like the day that I got my keys, we was supposed to go celebrate. But I had something going on and I didn't get with him. He got killed like two days later. Yeah. So it was like after that, I didn't know what I was finna do with the building. Yeah. Cause I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? This something I'm supposed to be doing with my brother. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna do yeah. this shit, but I was trying to keep it going. Yeah. <sighs> But I was facing a charge then. I was facing, you know, being um, my probation being them them violating my probation. So you got you got a paper towel or something. I was yeah. I was facing that me having to deal with being violated on my probation. So yeah, I really just I let the shit go because I'm like at this point like my heart wasn't in it no more. You know what I'm saying like. But I know now I'm, I'm looking for another space to do, thank you, to do what I want to do just so I can make his shit live on. Yeah. Because it's, it's definitely going to be called Buzz World. I really. I really. Because it's definitely Buzz World and y'all just living in it. I really. <laughs> so be thankful. I really. <laughs> hey, man, glad you got a chance to let that shit out, man. Sometimes it's best to let, talk to somebody and let that shit out, you know what I'm saying, instead of holding it in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't think it was gonna hit me though. On yeah, here. I appreciate Damn. you. Hey, hey, this is a safe place, baby. You can, hey, you do what you want to do on this motherfucker. You hear me? But check this out. You had you doing this time, man. Like, what you go to jail for? Like, we knew you done did some time. Like, what you what you go to jail for? First time I went to jail, I had took a charge from my baby daddy. Uh, possession of crack cocaine with intent to distribute. I wasn't selling no crack, but I wasn't for the tell on my baby daddy. He was a three time felon. I wasn't finna send him back. Yeah. I kind of wish now that I would have, because he might still be here. You know, my baby daddy got killed January 15, 2015. Yeah. And he might still be here if I was it a snitch. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. I wasn't brought up like that. I wasn't brought up to snitch. And the second time I went to jail, convicted fella with a firearm, the nigga I was dealing with, you know what I'm saying? Damn, um, nigga was serving somebody. Called the little the little bitch to my house and I don't know if she brought the folks over there. They claimed the bitch ain't hit the turning signal and they followed her into my driveway. You know they come with all little yeah. lies and shit. 
yeah, that what they claim. And this goofball Jamal ass nigga opened my door for them folks, and that's how that happened. Ooh, so that's his name? No, no. Oh, I've been <laughs> goofball Jamal. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So letting them folks in my motherfucking house. Yeah. So you did, and you went to jail for him. Like you doing this time? You did that time. I for really him? went to jail for my pills. It was my pills. Yeah, but you were convicted. But fed. they was trying to the feds because they was. That's why. I, that's why I know it was a setup because the police, NBN, and feds was there. Oh, it wasn't no. Yeah. It wasn't no. Just no, no yeah, JPD yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, we smell weed, so we finna come up in here type shit. That's what yeah. they try to make it like, but it wasn't it because they they was there too fast for me. Them motherfuckers came on some setup shit and. I had a gun in the house, and I had to take ownership of it. Was mine? Yeah. Facts. It was mine. Yeah. I took. I took. I took ownership of it because it was mine. But they were trying to send my son to DHS and lock up one of my homegirls that was over there at the house with me. Yeah. And it was like, if you go, just tell us what's in the house. You know how they try yeah. to come with that bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they didn't take my son to DHS. They let me call his stepmama. Stepmama came and picked him up. And my homegirl, they let her OR. So she ain't go to jail, get no charge. Yeah. So that was my biggest thing because regardless of what this nigga had going on, I wasn't finna let my son go to DHS. And I damn sure I wasn't finna let my partner go to jail for some shit she ain't had nothing to do with. Yeah. So. So you took charge for everything. Yeah. So you a, you a ride or die, huh? Basically. Oh, I ain't riding down for shit. You ain't riding down no more. I'm riding or dying for. Nah, oh, 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 down oh, for, down for your son. son. It wasn't yeah. never about oh. the nigga. It was yeah. never. It was. It was never about the nigga. So check, <laughs> <laughs> so check this out. If they would have, if they would have told you to blame everything on him, would you have? Hell no. See what you is then. But no, because but just being real though, even though he a goofball Jamal, <laughs> he did he did stand up and take ownership of everything that was in the house, oh. which it was his. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. I didn't have no knowledge of what was what was in the house. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Motherfucker had shit tucked and out my view. Yeah. So I appreciate him. Even though I don't fuck with him no more. Yeah. I appreciate him for even letting them know that that was his. Yeah. Because I could have went to jail for all type of drug enhancement charges and everything. You know what I'm saying? You get way more time for that. Yeah. 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 They yeah. end up giving me 14 months. Bud held me down through the whole thing. Esco. Yeah, I talked to you. Yeah, we had the we, interview. Yeah, we had, we had the yeah. interview when I was in Madison. Yeah, I talked to yeah. you when I was doing the. Uh, I was yeah. rapping on the phone and yeah, shit. Yeah, rapping on the phone yeah. and shit. Man, shout out to Esco, man. Get Esco a shout out, man. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to my motherfucking boy about to Esco. True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, love True. saying that shit. <laughs> but yeah, then then you got out and then you went back again. Yeah. Now we should go back. Out, I got out. I got out. What? I was. They they hit me. I went to jail December 2017, bonded out, charged went federal, what, by February? They came to the club looking for me. Do you know how, do you know, bro, them motherfucking folks, my partner that was living with me at the time, she was on live. Yeah. Them folks came in there with the vest on and shit. I ain't know what they was in there for. I'm like, damn, the motherfucking folks up in the club. That bud hit me up like, don't you come to the club. These folks up here, woo, woo. But I ain't know what time they were looking for me. Yeah. They hit my phone like, uh, you gotta come meet us. Woo, 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 woo. I called my the lawyer like, uh What's going on? Hey, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? I thought I butted out of this shit, whatever, whatever. He like, man, let me call him, find out. He hit them, hit me back. Oh, you gotta turn yourself in. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna turn myself in in the morning. Let me get my son's situation. Woo, woo. I I I flew my mama down here. Mama came down here, got my son. Some in me just said, uh uh-uh. uh. When he turned ourselves in, <laughs> hey, so did the she, race on that? Oh yeah, for about eight months. <laughs> Ooh, eight months. No cap. I was, was Dallas. I went to Macomb first. Dallas, motherfucking Atlanta. I was everywhere. <laughs> then I went to Indiana. That was my last spot. I was up there with my mama. My mama moved to Indiana. She lived in Chicago. No more. Yeah. I went up there with her. I had to get my son in school. Yeah. So uh, I went up there with her, chill with her for a minute. And then I just had broke down to my mama like, Mom, I'm just. I can't take this shit no more. Cause she had some roofing people come do her house right. I'm yeah. thinking these are folks. I'm scared as a motherfucker. I ain't never been through no shit like this. I ain't had nobody be there for me. So I'm scared. I'm crying to my mom like, mom, I just can't take it no more. It was something on my conscience though. I knew, I knew that. I knew I was finna go back to jail, right? So I'm like, damn, mom, I just can't take it no more. I'm just ready to get this shit over with. I'm just ready. She like, baby, just 
You know what I'm saying? Do what you feel best. My mama, I ain't gonna lie, my mama was down. I, I, she ain't I, give I, I fuck. was gonna ask you. My yeah. mama was down. My mama, my mama was not trying to tell me to turn myself in. She like, do what you she, think. You best. been gone eight months. Oh, you could have been gone two more years. Man, eight more. What? Then, so I end up, my son's birthday was September 13th. I end up coming back down here on some goofy shit, <laughs> trying to get some money because my little bread was running out. Yeah. I ain't had no nigga funding me or nothing like that. I was doing this shit on my own. I don't want nobody looking out on me. So I come back down here trying to get some bread. I ran it up, though, in about a few days. I, I ran up. I ran up about a thousand. Not a thousand. I'm tripping. I ran up about three bands. I must was down here for a little minute. I ain't even had no. I, I had changed my number and everything. Got a new phone and everything. Man, them folks must tap my phone. Yeah. I woke up one morning, I'm thinking something just wrong with my phone. We got the X at the top, so y'all, hey, y'all niggas, y'all ever want to know if the motherfucker folks taking y'all phone? You ain't going to have no bars. Your ass going to have an X at the top. Yeah. Don't be calling the phone place trying to see what's wrong with your phone or what's going on. Oh, shit. Them folks got the gym. They're coming. She dropped the gym. So, yeah, yeah. My pe- I was in the car. I was in the car with King Kong. You remember DJ King Kong? Yeah, I remember DJ King Kong. Man, Kong. yeah, I was in the car with him. Man, them folks, I was, I was probably about, I had two houses. I had one in Queens and one outside. I had just got this house outside. Them folks draw down on me by eight cars. Them motherfuckers like, are you Brianna such and such? I'm like, no. Nah. I'm lying. I'm like, I'm Sierra. I don't say it another bitch name. Yeah. <laughs> them folks like, nah, you Brianna. They put the <laughs> picture in my face like, get your ass out this car. <laughs> and that's how, that's how I got picked up. I know, but I know still, though, somebody had gave them folks my number because I ain't, I don't like four people had my number. Like, I, I ain't nobody else had my number. Like, only four people had my number. And, it's, and I don't fuck with them four folks to this day. Yeah. I don't give a damn if it was one, if it was two, if it was three of the four. I don't fuck with none of y'all because I know somebody gave them folks my motherfucking number. Yeah. And which is all right because I need to be picked up and gone on Saturday shit. But at the same time. Y'all didn't have to tell on me. Let you turn your own self in. Do you hear me? Yeah. Bitches, I was <laughs> Let them do their motherfucking job, babe. Right? I'm talking about the house I had in the Queens, a hoe living in. Yeah. The house I had ourself a hoe living in. Yeah. And the house I had ourself was so sweet because the nigga I got it from, he wasn't even charging me rent. So, yeah. bitch, you living rent free. So, if you did a bitch, you dirty, dirty. And the bitch in, in, in the queen, she definitely dirty. Both of them hoes dirty because <laughs> if either one of y'all did it, y'all hoes is dirty. Oh, but, I, but I appreciate y'all helping me get gone, get it over with. Yeah. But y'all hoes still dirty. Damn, man, you done been through some shit, man. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yes. That, that's why I like I like to bring people on here that got a story to oh, tell. Oh, but you, you know asked me. I got all off subject. You asked me how I went back to jail. I got violated. Oh, yeah. I got violated on my probation. I went through three years of probation, federal probation. Three years. Yeah. Smoked the whole three years. Never came hot. Them folks hit me on my last day of probation. And then you came up hot? No. What? No, no. What? They hit me on my last day of probation for... Getting a, a business loan and putting on a business loan that I went on papers. <laughs> and on top of that, some but some it, of them look, PPP. Yeah, but no, no, no. My went, shit, oh, my shit went, was legit. Yeah, I got an EIN and everything. My, yeah. I done had my business, my cleaning business. I done had it for four years and two months. Yeah. To this day, if you look on Bizopedia, since y'all want to look up shit, if you will look on Bizopedia right now, look up Brianna Daniels. You gonna see how long my motherfucking business been. In good standing. Yeah. Four years and two months. Yeah. My shit been straight. But then them hoes was calling from Playhouse to the P.O. Calling, telling I was dancing and shit. You know you don't supposed to you be in no club be, and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they was calling on Hey, no. Ho, hey, no. Big hey, and Kyle getting bread, bread. Yeah. And this this the one thing they gonna always holler. Oh, Breeze, Breeze, she throw her own money. Let me tell you something. I'm hold gonna, on, gonna, hold on. They say a, you be throwing your own money. I'm going to drop a gym on these hoes. Yeah. Because D.C., D.C., you know, D.C., 7-Up. Yeah, yeah. D.C. from V-Live? Yeah. Yeah, okay. When he came down here and he put me on some shit, him and a little gay nigga. My bad. I don't mean gay nigga, but y'all know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the nigga, the, the fruity nigga. He yeah. was, he, they put me on. You know what I'm saying? They taught me some shit. They helped me. Because one thing about the strip club, if you not getting no money, niggas is not finna throw you no money. And yeah. that's just period. They might throw you a little change because they feel sorry for you. But if they don't see no money flying, ain't nobody finna fuck with you. Yeah. So the the manager, they used to do it for me at first. They used to throw the money. They used to throw money. And then it used to make other people they be like, y'all gonna match my money. They on the mic hollering, y'all gonna match my money, y'all gonna match my money. Yeah. And the niggas used to match the money. 
So I got to the point where I was making so much money, I started doing the throwing money. Yeah. Facts. Them hoes, you think I'd probably be ashamed of that shit, bitch? No. Bitch, I could throw a thousand and make six. I don't know too many niggas that could flip their money like that in the streets. Yeah. So y'all thought that y'all was making me feel some type of way by doing this motherfucking money trick that motherfuckers don't even know about it because they mental so stuck on stupid. And then it's a couple hoes that did it and got their money took yeah. from the niggas that, that was throwing it for them. Yeah. So they not, they, they not going to never admit it, but like, oh, yeah, I was doing that too. But the shit didn't no. work out for them. It definitely shit worked didn't work out for, out for you. them. It definitely worked out for me. Yeah. I have a motherfucker out the woodwork come throw a thousand dollars and I'll make five, six thousand dollars in one night. Ooh. No cap. That's what's up. Make great money in one night. And motherfuckers like, I would never do that. Bitch, you did. You tried and you got your money took. Ooh. Don't cap like you did. Yeah. You better have I missed it because I don't do it. Don't do it. Uh uh-uh, uh, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shit getting spicy. But check this out. <laughs> oh shit. But check this out. When you talking about all that money, man, I want you to let these folks right let these folks know right now in Mississippi, man. Is this a money in Mississippi or not? I can't say what's in Mississippi right now. I know when I went to the strip club, cause it's a couple of hoes making some money. I ain't gonna count. Yeah. Cause me and my brother and them, we went to the club one night and we took about six hoes to the club, to his spot, and we threw them about eight, nine thousand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it was a lot of bitches that I didn't know. Which is cool, cause I don't fuck with these hoes, cause they, they too, they too, they hate too much. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They don't know how to just, they really some bandwagon hoes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It could be, it could be, it could be two hoes over here, three hoes over here, and five over there. Jackson hoes. Yeah. Should I say? Cause yeah. the other hoes don't do this shit. Yeah. Let the let these two hoes be on some, and they some fake ass bullies. Let them be on some. Oh, we don't like breeze. Here come three and five. We don't like her either. Yeah. Goofball Jamal ass bitches. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> bitches I done been there for though. Yeah, bitches that yeah. done slept on my couch. Bitches that done lived in my house. Bitches that done ate off me. Bitches that done booked. Bitches that done got money for. Yeah. Like I, so many of them hoes done turned they back on me on some weird ass shit. Yeah. And it's cool. Or they might be mad because they so-called trick. And I don't like the terminology trick. Yeah. Because bitch, that nigga ain't have to give you nothing. He didn't have to give you anything. So okay. for you to call him a trick, you stupid. So what you call him? Supporters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard she don't call him tricks. She I don't call supporters. him tricks. I call him supporters because he didn't have to pull out his pocket and give you nothing. Yeah. I done seen hoes dance for 45 minutes and make $45. Do you hear me? A dollar a minute. Ooh. I done seen hoes make 2000 in 30 minutes. I done seen hoes make three, 4000 You know what I'm saying? But yeah. whatever it was, he didn't have to give you anything. Because you were dumb enough to sit there and keep dancing for whatever he was giving you. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, therefore, you need to appreciate whatever somebody, somebody was giving you. you. Yeah. And that's the problem with a lot of dancers these days. They too fucking entitled. Yeah. And they don't do enough work. When I went in the strip club that night, them hoes was sitting around waiting on the money coming there. Well, and do you it. know how many times that it was no money in the club and I still was on the stage doing my routine? Yeah. And that's why people don't understand why I begin the money I begin. They be sitting up there, like, niggas be coming to fuck with me. They And niggas tell me everything. Niggas yeah. run their mouth. They run their mouth like bitches. They gonna tell you everything. Ooh. So <laughs> a nigga come and tell me, like, yeah, oh, Breeze, I ain't even gonna count. I wanted to give you this. I, I, that's why I want to give it to you in private. Cause as soon as I try to throw you some, this bitch saying some woo. I say oh, you must fuck the bitch. You must get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would yeah, be. That would be. All right, you fuck the bitch. All right, cool. So you can't give me no money, but I ain't tripping on you. But you gonna let this whole dictate what you got going on? But see, when you a good dancer, you ain't got yeah, to sit in no gotta, nigga yeah, yeah, yeah. and tell no nigga nothing. Yeah, the nigga gonna fuck with you regardless. regardless. It's niggas that bitches know when they come in the club, they in there for me. Already. And they be trying so hard, like, oh, you fuck with that bitch, mm, all that nah. hating that shit. You really don't. You like, just you a good dancer. You just a good worker. You just a good Thank worker. Thank you. They know, when, they know when I come on stage, they gonna play my motherfucking theme music. Yeah. That motherfucking Windy City, she blowing me kisses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They know that's coming on first. Yeah. Or some off the wall shit, like, In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins. Or some shit, like, the belly theme music. Yeah. I'm always gonna come with some different shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And they be they be thinking they automatically think, oh, she giving him some pussy. No, <laughs> no, no, I ain't gonna cap like it ain't no niggas I ain't fucked with before. 
But at the same time, that ain't the reason why they give me the me bread. Money, they give yeah. me the bread because of my work ethic. Work they give me the yeah. bread because they see that I'm consistent. They yeah. give me the bread because they know that I'm going to get them a show. Yeah. Regardless of who in this bitch. It could be them and they two partners. I'm still finna turn up like it's 50 people, 100 people, 1,000 people in this bitch. All right. And that's what's wrong. I'm trying to give y'all something, though. That's what's wrong. Y'all need to market y'all selves. Do y'all photo shoots. Take y'all photo shoots. Do y'all promo videos. Don't be cheap. As visuals. As visuals, how much money I used to get that nigga. I used to pay that nigga. That nigga used to be in there on a Tuesday sometime. Wednesday, he don't care. He going to come. As yeah. long as I'm cash up in that bread, he going to come do my videos. Yeah. I'm in there with different outfits every night. Different hair. Different. Di you can't be in there with that same dry ass hair. You can't be in there <laughs> with no motherfucking synthetic wigs yeah. falling off your head. Yeah. You can't be in there with your boots, your taps, tapping on the motherfucking floor because you you done tap the motherfucking things off the bottom. Yeah. And that's a screw on the floor. Yeah. Like, you can't be like that. You know what I'm saying? It might be your last, but your last might make you money for the next month. Yeah. You get know what I'm saying? Like, they don't understand about marketing. And that's what they used to be mad about about me. They used to think, oh, she thinks she too much. She think, no, nah, I don't think just, this. You know how to play I know the game. how the yeah, fuck you know I work. To, yeah. I brought this shit from the bottom. I, I, But I ain't going to cap. I was never one of them. I was yeah. never a synthetic weed wearing ass bitch. I was never a same outfit wearing ass bitch. Yeah. Wasn't no nigga in there talking about my hygiene. Wasn't no nigga in there talking about my boots was turned over. None of that shit. Yeah. I was never one of them. I was always that motherfucker who, and people see that. Yeah. People see that. People people watch that type of shit. And people gonna give you, they gonna, they gonna commend you for that. You know what I'm saying? And once you keep on getting commended for that type of shit, you know what you're doing is working. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so... A lot of people, like, I be trying to give girls who just started dancing, I be trying to tell them, like, do this, do that, do that. It's yeah. no hating shit. Baby, I, I see potential in you, and I want you to do better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want you to make some bread, because it's some bread to be made. It's some bread to be made, for sure. Facts. So check this out. Check this out, man. You After all the scripting, you know what I'm saying? I mean, dancing, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. It's a heavy me costume. Entertaining. Entertainers down. Because it you know is some saying? strippers. Yeah. It's a difference. It's, it's some strippers. <laughs> yeah. And it's some entertainers. Yeah. It's bitches that just as soon as they get on stage, yeah. they take everything, everything out. They have nothing else to do. They have nothing <laughs> else. But no, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm being yeah. real. Like, it's some bitches that just going to get up and take everything out because they have nothing else to show. Yeah. They feel like their body is just that. That's all they got. But then some bitches that's going to get in there and get in the field and, and turn up and make you watch them. Oh, really? That's how it's supposed to be. But check this out, man. They get into your cleaning stuff. Now, now, now I, I never... That ain't me. That just ain't me. I ain't even clean nobody how. So, uh, cause I, I barely want to clean mine. Shit, I'm married, so shit. Hey, why go ahead and let? But uh, check this out. Um, you clean your cleaning business, man. Well, how you get into that? Like clean it. All of a sudden, you just want to clean. You know what I'm saying? Like when start I your first, cleaning business. When I first got uh released the first time, I was trying to find a job and shit. I was in a halfway house, and they they make you have to have a job, but you can work for yourself. Yeah. So. I was a manager at Family Dollar in Pearl. So I was just like, what am I going to do next? Because I'm damn sure don't want to keep opening this store at 6 in the morning, taking money to the bank. Nick could bust my head for this deposit, whatever, yeah. whatever, for this change. I was making like $11 an hour, yeah, which I was grateful for, but it was like, I can't get no house with this. Yeah. So uh, I ain't going to cap. A bitch that was like, Ace Boom Coon, we not cool no more. Yeah. But she was, uh, a manager at an apartment complex, and she was like, "Go on here, like this this one girl that's over here, she making a bag, yeah. cleaning houses. Do this shit, and yeah, you can you can you can you can make you some bread." So I just one day, I went and spent like four five hundred dollars at Family Dollar. Yeah, on cleaning supplies. Cleaning supplies, yeah. number cleaning supplies, and I bought all my shit, and that shit just took off. Actually, it didn't take off at first because. The apartment she was working at, it was some shit going on there. Yeah, yeah. But I had did like thirty five hundred dollars worth of work, and them folks didn't even pay me. Ooh, like yeah. they was like, you got to file a lien and all this shit. So it kind of had put a bad taste in my mouth about clean. I was like, yeah. damn, I don't even know if I want to do this shit no more. Yeah. Even if I done ran off on the plug twice, yeah. like I don't know if I even want to fuck with this shit no more. But I end up, I end up just kept it going. I'm like, I'm good at this shit. Like, my daddy, growing up, my daddy didn't play with us. Yeah. Like, we used to, like, I be telling my son, like, hey, you be tripping about having to do this little shit, take out the garbage and do this shit. We used to have to clean our mom and daddy room. Yeah. And have shit right before 5 o'clock when they get off work. So, 
I always knew how to clean. So I was just like, I just, when I, once I seen, when I was, I was actually working at Belvedere Apartments. Ew. <laughs> it was so dirty over there. Yeah. But I actually was working at Belvedere Apartments and I just used to, why I used to do the before and after. That's what really got me going yeah. on the cleaning side because I like to see what, what from you- what. From what some could be to what it looked coming like. to yeah, something yeah. else, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's that's really was my motivation, like seeing that shit. And then I started just kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it. And the crazy part about it, people tell you like when you starting your own business, you might start out like this, and you yeah. you, you just wanted to pop for you, you wanted to pop, yeah, you wanted but it ain't to pop. gonna pop like this. It's not. My shit didn't start popping till this time. Last month, I made over twelve thousand dollars in one month. That's what's up. And that's that was like stripper money for me. Yeah. Cause I was cleaning house, 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 apartment, apartment, apartment. Like I got a contract with some apartments. Yeah. And I clean houses. And I actually people think I work at FedEx. I don't work at FedEx. I don't work for FedEx. I work for a contracted company that is contracted through FedEx. I clean at FedEx. Oh. I yeah. clean that motherfucker. Yeah. I make good money. Yeah. But like when I get off, I go clean houses. Yeah. So I clean houses. I get off at three. I work eight to three Monday through Friday, seven to two on Saturday, and I clean houses after that. Yeah. And my clientele that I have, they pay me good. Like, I make good money cleaning. That's what's up. I make great money cleaning. That's what's up. For real, for real. <laughs> like, and I didn't think that, like, even my sister, like, back home, like, I'm going to Chicago in June for my birthday, after yeah. my birthday, really, though. But I'm going to celebrate with my family and shit, but cause I ain't seen my family like, a few years. But anyway... Um, I'm going to go up there and I'm going to clean my mama house for a couple of days, clean my daddy house for a couple of days and go help my sister and them. Like I'm, and my sister's like, damn, you want to come up here and do that? I like to clean yeah, because you cleaning, it kind of like, it makes, it makes people happy. Yeah. Like, like having your house be what you want it to be and yeah. you didn't feel like you could get it there yourself. A lot of people will appreciate you for that. Yeah, and I ain't looking for appreciation. I just want to do it for my mom and my yeah. daddy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because yeah. they getting old. My they damn near seventy and shit. Like, yeah. so I want to do it for them. But I like to clean. Like, I like to see what something was and bring it to something great. Like, I don't seen shit that looked like it was condemned and I brought it back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like I like that type of shit. That's what's up. For real. That's what's up, man. Bridge, you, Bridge, you got a story. We gotta do a part two with your head. Yeah. We gotta do a part two with your head. Man, but like I said, appreciate you for coming out, for chilling with Square. You know what I'm saying? No, how that shit go. But before you go, no, before you go, I want you to tell any upcoming dancer, like, what advice you want to give any upcoming dancer? Any upcoming dancer? For the baby dancers, don't listen to these old hoes. Because they're going to tell you, they're going to try to tell you what what they feel like you need to be doing and shit. And a lot of times, they be really hating they really want to keep you stagnant because they don't want you to surpass them. You know what I'm saying? Be, stick to yourself. Don't try to be like nobody else. Do what y'all do your own thing. That's why I feel like like a lot of people are like, oh, why you like unicorns so much? Why you? Because like I feel like unicorns are something that's 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 not real. But at the same time, it can be if you want it to be. Yeah. Whatever you want to do, you could bring it to fruition. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can bring that shit to life. You don't need nobody to tell you that what you're doing is great or none of that. Like, you yeah. can do it yourself. You don't need nobody to help you do nothing. You could do it on your own. If you want to be a good pole dancer, put in the work. If you want to be a good flow dancer, put in the work. Yeah. Whatever you want to do, just put in the work. And also take your money from what you're making in the club. I wish I knew this when I was in my early 20s. Whatever you doing with the money before, when you know what I'm saying, when you start making that bread in the club, put it towards something else so it can make something else. Don't just sit there and be popping your shit on, popping bottles and doing all that stupid yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah. Make your money work for you. You know what I'm saying? Because I learned that shit late, and I wish I would have learned it early because I would be at a greater level right now. Yeah. And just pop your shit and don't let nobody tell you nothing. Oh, be really? you and stay yourself and don't let nobody change you. That's I it. Really, I really, man. Like I said, appreciate that. Appreciate you for coming through, popping shit with us. We're gonna get a part two in because you got a lot of tears. You know what I'm saying? I want to yeah. get your story right there. You know I got, I got, I'm writing a book right now. See that part and, two, and, and I'm probably gonna come out. I'm coming out with a motherfucking uh, Tubi movie too. The, pre- <laughs> the preacher's kid. Hey, see I that? am, I am a preacher's kid. See that? I'm a preacher's kid. I got a story. Too. I got a story to tell though, for real. And I want a lot of girls like 
I want a lot of women to feel like, like, even though I, I was a ride or die, you ain't got to be that. Yeah. I ain't saying you got to be a snitch, but you ain't got to be that. Yeah. You ain't got to be that at all. You got to ride for yourself before you ride for anybody else. I really, I really, man. Appreciate, like I said, appreciate you for coming. You know what I'm saying? But y'all, check this out. We finna get out here. But check this out, y'all. Next Friday, man, we got good fella A1 in the building, man. Hey, y'all thought this was crazy? Man, what y'all hear his shit? Y'all oh, wait, Paul. Like, I got one more. I got one more thing. What I it got is? one more thing. And y'all, y'all want to get y'all hair done? <laughs> y'all want to get y'all hair done? Yeah. Y'all need to go to Sadie's. Right now, she at, she at uh, Fab's Dollhouse yeah. on Lynn Street. Yeah. And her name on Instagram is All About the Hair. She get me right. She get me all the way right. And my nails, my nails come from Uh-oh. Florida. <laughs> promo. They come, they come, yeah, big, big <laughs> promo. They come from Florida. Um, Raya Glamatic Nails. Raya's Glamatic Nails. Yeah. She the truth. She going to get your shit in overnight. Yeah. And, yeah, that's the, the only two people that I really want to shout out. And shout out Easy Breezy Cleaning Service LLC. Yeah. Because I'm going to get you right on the cleaning side. All right. And that's period. Period. Hey, man, catch up. I appreciate you, Square, for fucking really. with me. You always part two fuck coming. with me. Part two coming. We coming with a hey. part two because hey. part yeah. one wasn't enough. Hey, hey, part two. But like I said, next Friday, good fella A1 going to be here. And like I said, if y'all y'all thought this interview was some shit, man, what till y'all hear here? And, hey, and here, oh, coming blues singer. Hey, this shit going to be true next week. But tune in next Friday, man. We'll holler at y'all.